fellow Daz Studio enthusiasts, this is Not From This World, and I want to welcome you to another Daz tutorial. Now today I want to talk a little bit about how you can save your scene, and this comes kind of from an inspiration from one of my subscribers. So I want to give a shout out to John Taylor, who asks me what the difference is between saving a scene and saving a scene subset. So thank you, John, for that question. I want to go over a few of the features that Daz Studio has regarding how to save your scene. And to do that, of course, I've got my Milica character and she is in a scene with her friend Kat and it looks like they're maybe at a party or something. And we're going to use this scene to kind of demonstrate a few of our options with saving. Now we're probably all familiar with just saving the scene. And so when I go to file down to save as we always save everything as a scene. Now, when we save the scene, we just save everything in it, just like we set it up. So that's pretty self-explanatory. One of the cool features, however, is right below it where we have scene subset. So what you can do is you can save your scene as a scene subset and select certain aspects of your scene to be saved. So for example, if I'm making a comic and I have Milica talking to Kat here in this building, and then I want to move Milica outside, like she's walking outside on the sidewalk, I may not want to rebuild all of Milica. Maybe I have her makeup the way I want it, her hair the way I want it, I have the right dress, I have everything created, and I want to just save my Milica character. That is when our save as scene subset comes into play. So let's just run through a little scenario that I want to move my Milica character into a new scene. So to save just Milica so I can transfer her over into a new scene, I will just hit file, save as, and then I will hit scene subset. Now it's going to open up your files and you can save this uh, duff file anywhere you want to. So I have actually created a scene subset folder right here and I'm just going to click on it and then I'm just going to type in Milica as my name and I'm going to hit save. Now what it's going to do is it's going to ask me what part of our entire scene I want saved. So I'm going to have to come over here and unclick everything I don't want saved. So all I want for this example is Milica herself. Um, so I'm going to get rid of everything else. And you can see that Milica has a drop down, so I can click on that, make sure everything is selected, which it is. So it's going to save all of her clothes, her textures, her makeup, everything. And I'm just going to hit accept. All right. So now I have saved just Milica out of this scene. So now if I want to open up a new scene, let's just open up a brand new scene. Okay, so I have my new scene complete. Now I can go to File, Open, and I can open up my scene. If I go to Open Recent, and I use this a lot, you know, when I'm working on stuff, we'll notice that it's not there. So it didn't save it in a recent scene because it's not really a scene. So we have to go to Open, and then to find it, I just have to go to my folder. This is not it, by the way. Um, that's something else that I'll show you in a minute. 
but I saved it in my pictures and then scene subsets. And then here is my Milica character. I can just click on that and it's going to open up this new duff file and open up hopefully just Milica. Okay, so now you can see that I have moved Milica into a new scene. Now she's gonna be in her A pose. So now I can set up the scene. Perhaps maybe she's walking down the street with her boyfriend or something like that. And I can now pose her in a brand new scene. You know, what's really cool about this is you don't know how often, especially when you're making comics, that you need to build a new scene but keep that same character or keep that same prop and you don't want to have to build her again. You also don't want to have to delete everything and then save just her as a file, which is actually what I used to do before I discovered our save scene subset. So with this subset scene selection, I can now transfer my characters from one scene to another. It's pretty cool how that works. A couple other things that are really interesting about saving is when I go back to my save as, underneath scene and scene subset, you'll notice there's this whole list of other things that we pretty much ignore for about 90% of our rendering. But a couple of these can become really handy and I wanna talk about them in this tutorial. The first one is gonna be the character preset and then I wanna show you the pose preset as well. So if I have my Milica character selected, so I'm gonna just select her completely, I can go to save as and if I drop down to character preset, I'm gonna select it and it's going to open up a file folder in your Daz Studio My Library folder, and it's gonna be under Presets and Characters. Now, right now, I don't have anything in there, but I can save Milica in this folder, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna save all of her assets. So the way I have her set up, I'm going to have that character. So uh, this is kind of a neat way to save a character if you have morphed it and you want to make sure that you can use it over again you can save your character as a character preset so I'm gonna just name her Milica and we're gonna hit save it's gonna just come up with a tab that asks you if you want to keep the shape the materials we want to keep everything because we want to just use Milica as a character in other scenes. So I'm going to hit accept and it's going to save Milica as a character preset. Okay, now to find our character preset, what we're going to do is we're going to go to my library in the Daz Studio formats. So I'm going to drop that menu down. And when you notice, and when you see it, you'll notice that there is a preset. We drop that menu down and we have characters. So I'm gonna select that and we're gonna have our Milica character. So see if I delete Milica out of this scene, now I can come in here and I can open her up again. Now the thing about this is this only saves the character. So you're not gonna keep the hair and you're not gonna keep the clothes. So with Milica here, she's going to appear as Milica, but she's gonna be naked. So now we have just the Milica character that we can move. We can add whatever hair we want to her. But if you notice, she has the same assets that my original had. So she's got the same makeup and that kind of thing. Okay, all right, so I have Milica back and I want to save her one more way for this video. And that is to go to File, Save As, and we're gonna save her as a Pose Preset. So when I select that, it's gonna come up with a uh, menu again and a file folder um, that is kinda in the same place. I have to find where I wanna go, so I'm gonna go to my library 
and um, hit presets again and see now we have a pose folder so I can select that pose and I can save Milica as a pose. Now when I do that, it's gonna say, uh, come up with a tab that says current frame only. We're gonna keep that selected. We have Milica selected and we're just gonna hit accept. Now to find it, I'm just gonna refresh my menu. I'm gonna go to my library. We're gonna go to presets and poses and you can see she's right there. So she's in that pose at the moment. So let's just move her out of this pose. Okay, so I put her in a different pose. Let's see if we can use this to get her back to the pose that we wanted. So I'm gonna hit that, and then I'm gonna just hit this pose, and you can see it puts her back in that original pose. So if you create a pose that you really like, you can save it as a preset, a pose preset, and then Milica can go back into that pose. Okay, so I'm back in my original picture with Kat and Milica. And so what I want to do is I want to see if I can move Kat's pose into Milica's pose that we saved. So I'm going to select Kat and then I'm going to hit the Milica pose. All right, and you can see that we just moved the pose that we saved to our cat character. It's pretty cool. So these are just a couple of things that you can do with your save as. Um, as time goes on, I might show you a few of the other ones. I don't really use them very much, but uh, we can save materials or shaders. We can save cameras. That can come in handy. You know, I'm always setting up a kind of a three camera scene. You can just create that, save it as a preset, and then load it into your scene. Uh, same with the lights. You know, we um, I usually make several lights, like spotlights for a scene. So you can save those presets as well. And um, we'll discuss those in a future tutorial. Okay. So I think what we'll do is we'll kind of pose, and as always, we'll end with a render. I think Cat needs to be smiling a little bit. So we're gonna render this up and see what it looks like. We got two cute girls having a nice conversation. I noticed when I did my simulation, Cat's clothing is a little bit off, but that's okay. This is just a test render anyway. All right, I want to thank you again for your support. You know, I'm closing in on a thousand subscribers. I'm right at about 855 right now. So if you're watching these videos and you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button like and give me a comment. I'd love to hear what you have to say and some more suggestions. So until then, stay safe and have a wonderful day.